proved futile. Back to the weekend floods, at least three houses collapsed due to the velocity of the winds that accompanied the torrential rains. For a family in Lake Independence, Saturday night was horrifying. Their house collapsed under them, trapping a nine-year-old schoolboy. Dwayne Moody has that story. The inclement weather over the weekend dislodged many houses across the city. The heavy downpour and winds ripped the zinc from roofing and in several cases caused some houses to cave in. This wooden structure on Jasmine Street in the Lake Independence area of Belize City has been home to the White family for several generations. But on Saturday night, while hosting a baby shower, the house collapsed with everyone inside. We made a take our um, couple of pictures at the same time when we just feel uh, blank. Everybody just start to scream, I think. I just thank God that. The roof never come down because we had a well, good amount of people in at the house at the time. And everybody was okay. And it looked like the sudden shock when we used to forget that they were making had pain and they had to rush on the hospital. So far right now, you know, have baby yet, but it departs blood and thing. Minutes after, a most terrifying revelation was made. The house had collapsed on top of a miner. Nine-year-old Earl Gentle Jr. was saved by a sofa that was lodged just beneath the side of the house. He received injuries to his back and arm, but lives to tell the tale. I'm at the end of the house. I'm in the end of the house. I remember that telling me the house to drop. I remember that run and tell me I run. I see the house drop. I run. I see the house moving for drop. I'm in the run and I said, and I run and I drop. I am. I drop part going by the chair. And I first, the, um, the chair and the house went up on my hand, and I'm going to hurt my hand. You may, when did it go through your head when this happened? My head may hurt, and my hand may hurt, and my foot, and my butt. Well, I personally made a look for my baby, because I don't know where my baby is there. That when I can't trust somebody, the ball, one of my little cousins there, they're under the house, and the children they pull out from. And all my people, they made in the house, and I just, I just thank God that everybody's safe. Okay, how long have you guys been living here? <laughs> we, five years, we born here, we grew up here, with the years. At least, well, I'm 28 right now, I'm 29, so we're there over 30, 30 years. years. But I guess my granny then, they are more than that, but... According to White, the family is now scattered, living with other relatives until some kind of assistance is received to recover the family home. Later in the day and prior to the announcement by Prime Minister Dean Barrow, Air Representative Mark King visited the family, pledging that they will get the necessary assistance. Uh, we have a couple of houses that drop in Leakai, a couple of houses that are on the flood, and we definitely are trying to move the, the uh, refugees or the survivors too. Uh, these shelters. In the case like this where the house has fallen, uh, depends on the amount of damage that has been uh, done, we normally evacuate them to the shelter first because their safety is first. And so the family said that the house is okay in terms of roofing, so they, they don't need to move. Uh, they said that they're okay with food and everything. So the only thing we can do now is uh, whenever uh, we start to issue material through Nemo to assist in rebuilding these homes, they will be on that list uh, within the next couple of days to start rebuild the homes. Dwayne Moody for News 5. While in Port Loyal